In this video, we're going to go on the desktop and show you where telemetry resides in pretty much all Windows 10 installs so you can easily disable it and find and tweak it to your needs. So uh, this is a follow up to actually the video I explained what telemetry is and using this video, you'll actually be able to go in and disable many of the aspects of telemetry on pretty much any Windows 10 installation. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you all the different ways telemetry is integrated into Windows so you can disable it yourself or you can go ahead and use the tool. I'm gonna show O&O shut up here at last, but I at least wanna kinda of show you where telemetry resides in Windows. So depending on what Windows version you have, uh, it may be a little different, but you know at least where to look. First, we start out with services. To open up services, you simply type services.msc in your run command down here. You can get to run by hitting your Windows key and hitting R at the same time, or just simply by right clicking and hitting run. With that, the two services that we need to be concerned with is connected user experiences and telemetry. This should be disabled. And then also down here, there's one more service that you need to pay attention to, and that's the DMW service. This is an app push message service that should also be disabled. Um, if you don't see the top service, please check under telemetry because it's also been renamed over the various feature updates of Windows 10. So with the services out of the way, we still need to actually go in and basically switch telemetry to go only to security is really what our aim here is because just disabling the services honestly when you next do update you do a lot of times it'll revert back so you have to kind of constantly watch that that's why i like to do a registry edit if you go to this actual key right here you'll notice there's a data collection key under microsoft windows in the policy section uh, you need to add this D word, allow telemetry and put it to zero. So this basically switches it to the security only aspect where it will only report your hardware ID and any viruses and things that you may run into. So I always make sure to add this into registry. If you're not comfortable doing a reg edit, you can also do group policy editor. Uh, open up your run prompt, just like I showed you for services. And in here, we'll just do GP edit.msc. This launches the group policy editor and we can simply come into here. Um, this one is gonna be computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, data collection and preview builds. Uh, go to a telemetry, enable this, and then put zero for security enterprise only. Please note, group policy editor is only available on Windows 10 Pro and above. So if you're on 10 Home, you will not have this functionality and you must do the reg edit that I just showed. And then finally, there's scheduled tasks that seem to happen in Windows as well. So launch task scheduler. And in here, you need to go into Microsoft, Windows, and then there's gonna be two folders that we're looking for. Application experience, you'll see these things. I like to disable all of these. And then also customer experience improvement program. Also disable these as well. Uh, this is all part of the telemetry service and it will fire off regardless of all those other ones being disabled. This is ways of actually scheduling a lot of those. And that's why I always just come in here and disable the services as well. Um, I don't recommend deleting them because again, they'll repopulate. I think there's a better chance of just hitting disable and then not having an update re-enable them. However, again, then you might have to recheck this. And then finally, I really like this tool. It does a lot of things, especially for privacy and security beyond telemetry. So O&O Shut Up 10 is probably my de facto standard. Now, obviously, if I'm in a business environment, I wouldn't use a third-party tool like this. However, uh, if you're a home user, by all means, use Ono oh Shut Up 10 just because it does make it quite a bit easier than individually setting all group policies and things that I would do in a business to where here I can actually come in and just tick all the boxes and then away I go. Out of these, I always pretty much go 
recommend and somewhat recommend settings to really strip out telemetry. I don't recommend doing apply all settings because this will disable Windows Update. So you just click this and then it'll go ahead and tick the appropriate boxes in here. But it's really uh, very important. The telemetry section of it is under security and you can actually just tick all these as well. Other notable things is definitely watch out for the privacy section. I always recommend getting almost all these enabled and all the way to sending URLs to Windows Store. Now, this bottom one probably should not be um, enabled just because if I click on a link on a web page, it wouldn't open up the Windows Store. So that's what that bottom one is, why it says no. So just pay attention to the right hand side here whether it says limited or no. Uh, no typically really shouldn't be ticked. Uh, just, I'm pretty much a, a power user, so I like to just completely strip all of this out and I don't use the Windows Store at all or pretty much any internal Microsoft components. So Defender, uh, OneDrive, all these things that Microsoft uses, I rip them out of my Windows install and disable them. However, I know that is not for everyone, so that's why I don't really recommend going past the limited and actually ticking many of these boxes that say no. Uh, definitely leave those off is my recommendation. So that was disabling telemetry in Windows 10. I highly recommend doing this uh, because I've had many instances where I might be playing a game or doing something with high compute resources and then all of a sudden telemetry data collection kicks in and literally steals half of the performance on my hard drive. I'll notice disk usage going up to 50%, even up to 100% in some instances. So telemetry, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst inventions that Microsoft's ever, ever done. But with this, you'll at least be able to disable it and at the very least control and minimize it. If you don't want to completely disable services and rip out those task schedules, you can leave those in and simply go do the reg edit or the group policy edit and that'll limit telemetry down to only getting your hardware ID and also submitting any security critical things. But Having all that said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below, and I'll see you on the next video.